Hello, everyone. Welcome to our weekly chat. Gen gr great being here. Thanks for joining me. Sorry, I'm a little late. Uh, if anyone's watching live, a couple of you do. Um, but for those who don't, it doesn't matter. You can watch anytime later. Um, and uh, thanks for the feedback about all topics we've been having. And I enjoy doing this. So um, more and more people are watching, which is great. Uh, so keep the comments coming. Um, either you can send me a private message or put it in the comments. Um, I love it. Love getting whatever comments uh, you have, topic ideas. Today's topic idea actually comes from a conversation, and I I had thought I had talked about it before, and I think I did in the context of a different topic um, in a video. Uh, but um, it's a topic that comes up a lot, and uh, it came up yet again um, in the past couple weeks. Um, the question being, why is East Aurora school district called East Aurora Union Free School District. And if you want to be uh, really technical, uh, it's East Aurora Union Free School District number one. And one of my uh, friends who is in the education field and also has another friend who is in the education field, a teacher actually, and was uh, looking to apply for jobs coming out of college. And this friend of mine said, uh, well, my friend, he said, my friend didn't want to apply or was re re uh, reluctant to apply to East Aurora schools for a job because they don't have unions. And I looked at him and it took me a second to figure it out. And I was like, oh, <laughs> and this happens a lot. This actually happens in the school district, I am told, uh, where people are afraid, um, uh, educators and, and support staff are afraid to apply to East Aurora schools um, perhaps because uh, one of the reasons is that, they, that they're under the impression that the school district does not have employment, employee unions, teachers unions, support staff unions, white collar unions, and that's not, that couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, that East Aurora School District, like a lot of school districts, has employee unions. Well, then why is it called Union Free School? Well, uh, it has nothing to do with uh, employee unions. Um, and it's it's quite interesting um, that that those two things came together, and it makes sense that it might come together. I mean, that make, in, by today's uh, language and what we're used to today, union free, free of unions, that makes sense. Well, the the district name goes back to actually the 1800s, and in the 1850s, I think it was. Uh, the um, New York State uh, created a system to, uh, to allow free high school education. Actually, in the 1800s, each local community had what we were called common schools, and each neighborhood essentially could create its own school district, uh, one room schoolhouse, if you will, uh, and hire teachers and, and, and raise the money, build the schoolhouse, have a public education, uh, generally up to the maybe to eighth grade, sometimes even lower than lower than that, um, and uh, that would be the public education. High school here in East Aurora and in other places um, would not have been free. It would not have been a public education. We had the Aurora Academy, which was a private high school, uh, essentially that was located on the what, what, where the middle school is today at the corner of North Grove and Main Street. Private school. So you had to pay tuition. People would come from uh, uh, East Aurora, but many other places uh, to um, learn uh, languages, more advanced studies, uh, a college preparatory or a teacher preparatory program. Um, uh, they actually had a teacher's uh, prep program at the Aurora Academy, but you paid for it. Well, in the 1880s, there was a movement for uh, free public high school education. And so the state had, in the mid 1800s, created a mechanism for these common school districts to uh, form together, to unite, uh, to offer a uh, high school education. So these common school districts united and created a union school a union high school. And that's exactly what happened here in East Aurora. Uh, the districts of the village of East Aurora um, cre created the union free school district, the union school district number one, thinking because it was the first one and other common school districts could have gotten together and created their own union school district. So it's a united district. So that's where the union part com comes from. And it was free education. So uh, there was actually a free 
education movement. Um, you'll hear about that we talked about this before, and there are some other um, uh, other uh, uh, movements in that regard, education-wise. A big one being the the library. So you hear the free library. So you had the East or the Aurora Free Library before it was the Aurora Town Public Library, part of the county system, and there were other communities that had their own, had libraries, and they were free and open to all. That was the idea because like this high school there were libraries that you had to pay for so you had to pay for a subscription to get books so similar concept so united school district um all these these one room schoolhouses united um these districts so they formed a union school and it was free so then um later on instead of forming their own separate districts the one room schoolhouses essentially the common school districts throughout this area in the town of Aurora um, joined Union Free School District 1. And it was over time. Actually, the last one to, to, to join was in the mid um, 20th century. So um, each of these school districts united with the Union School District um, one at a time. And uh, that provided a high school education. In some cases there were uh, out of district uh, th those what common schools would pay to send the kids to the union school without joining the union district. But um, it's a complicated uh, history. But in a nutshell, each of these one room schoolhouses joined the union district to provide their students a high school education, which became more and more important. Um, so in, uh, later on in the 20th century, there was a movement for central school districts. So you might be familiar with most school districts today in New York State anyway are um, uh, centralized. So Iroquois is Iroquois Central School and East Aurora is East Aurora Union Free School District. Well, it, when union, union school districts united together, one at a time, existing districts united, centralized school districts, central school districts, um, voted a geographic area to essentially create a new district and create a district out of all the, all the one room schoolhouses that were there and some of the students who were in what is now Iroquois Central School District went to East Aurora High School, um, but they centralized a geographic area into one school district all at once. And they voted. Um, actually, Iroquois was named Elmer Marilla Wales um, Central School District. Uh, and so all those common schools in that district centralized. Um, there were movements for East Aurora and other school districts to centralize. East Aurora never did. So that is why we are still East Aurora Union Free School District number one. So if you don't want to get into all the nitty gritty about it, essentially it's just how a, the school district was formed, two different ways. So the central school districts were formed one way and the Union Free School Districts, the Union Districts were formed uh, earlier on um, in a different way uh, by uniting common schools. So it is an administrative, uh, essentially today, in, Today, it's an administrative difference between a central school district and a union free school district. However, a union free school district still has employee unions. So get that idea out of your head that they don't have employee unions. So if you have someone going into education um, and they're interested in a job at a union free school district, and there are several around the state, um, they, they most likely do have a, a union, an uh, employee union, a teacher's union, so they don't have to worry about that. What I tell people is to, just to kind of um, help dis, you know, figure out what a union free school district is, is stick either a ampersand or a comma in between union and free. Technically not right, but if you were to say East Aurora Union, comma, free, union and free school district. It's a united district, all these districts united, and it's free, free education. Um, so union free, um, by putting those two words together causes the confusion. Um, I was actually asked, to, I wrote it, uh, an article about this um, years ago. It turns out many years ago, because recently the folks at the school had asked me to find an article that was once written in the advertiser about um, the union free schools and the difference between a, a centralized school district and a union free school district. And it sounded familiar. So I dug through and I couldn't find it. And eventually I did find it. Well, the reason it sounded familiar is because I wrote it. So that is why I 
um, s seemingly know a, a lot about it. Um, not as much as I'd like to know. You can get into the nitty gritty of all the how schools um, were formed. School district history is actually quite fascinating. Um, and we take for granted today that you have a public school and a school board, and that's not how it was all the time. There were common schools throughout the area. You'd have a, a superintendent for the entire area, uh, the supervisory district, they called it. Um, so, uh, and one-room schoolhouses were all over the place in, in the 1800s. Not everybody could go, not everybody could get to the school. Um, and the idea, East Aurora voted in 1883 uh, to form Union Free School District Number 1, um, and, uh, and in 1888 is when um, uh, things started to come together. So um, in the mid-1880s is really when um, we, as East Aurora, started um, our Union School Public High School Education. Um, so uh, that's where the Union District comes from. And in, actually, in the, in the early days, they didn't have the free in there. They, had, uh, they just called it the Union High School, East Aurora Union School. Uh, and actually, they didn't really call it the high school even. Um, the two, the one-room uh, schoolhouses in the village merged into a new building at the corner of North Grove and uh, Main Street. Uh, the Aurora, private Aurora Academy had gone um, uh, had gone away, and the public school took over that private school's property. And then they built a new building, and then the one-room schoolhouses in the village, even though out in the town they still existed and the village merged, um, and so the whole school actually had kindergarten through 12th grade. Some people who are around still remember that. Um, and they just called it the Union School at the corner. So that's why we're union free. So thanks for that topic idea um, from a casual conversation I was having with a friend. Um, and uh, I will be working more to do more research about this because it is fascinating history for a book I'm working on in the future about East Aurora history. So um, this is one of the topics that has come back up um, that I talked about years and years ago. So it just goes to show that some of these topics, uh, um, the confusion keeps going on with East Aurora Union Free School District. But hopefully the folks at the school district um, are um, on board with me uh, <laughs> sharing why the East Aurora Union Free School District actually has employee unions. So thanks again for joining me. Again, if you have any um, topic ideas, uh, please put them in the comments. And if I can um, uh, answer any other questions uh, separately, um, please uh, feel free to send me messages. Some of you do that, um, and I'll be glad to respond privately about that. Um, and again, just a caveat, this is a project that I do this video, and a lot of the writing I do is um, I am the town and village historian, but it's, this is not part of my official duties um, as town and village historian. Um, so none, anything that I talk about in this separate project is not does not represent um, officially uh, what I do for the town and the village. Thanks again for joining me, and we will see you next time. Thanks.